I would love to hear about glider skirt with a twist. So we're gonna play our infamous game called I'm gonna share my screen to show a random word generator. And on the screen, can you see my screen? Yes. Great. You'll see a random word. And so as you're telling me about your company, like sneak these words into your pitch, okay? And every time you use the word, I'll generate a new word and you can incorporate that into your pitch as well. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Okay. And we'll start with whatever the next word is, and I'll let you begin. And I may chime in with some questions to move the story along using these random words as well. Okay. Okay. You should go ahead. Glider skirt was born out of an urgency because my husband was reading to our kids in the glider chair and he shimmied forward, which he always does because he's an ethnic, beautiful, <laughs> lovely man. And so he hurt his finger and he, it was around Christmas. He said, oh no, I'm injured, tis the season. You know, it's hard when you get injured at that time. And we thought there shouldn't be a glider in a nursery that, that can hurt you. This is the nursery, it should be the safest place. There shouldn't even be electrons in there. <laughs> and so we thought, well, we don't wanna get rid of it because it's like reinventing the wheel. We love our glider and we absolutely, it's this instrument of getting them to sleep. There's nothing else we can do. I mean, that baby gets to bed, we tiptoe over. We feel like we both got a medal. We earned a medal just getting them to sleep. So we were set on keeping our glider chair and we thought we need to make this safe. So set on the glider chair, need to make it safe. So we resigned ourselves to find, you know, uh, some kind of, way to keep it safe but also of course make it globally beautiful because we're in the nursery after all you're stuck in there for many hours so you need to make it beautiful and um after what seemed like a marathon like three or four years um of drawings and prototypes and building this incredible thing um we received our uh prototype in the mail and we said wow and we put it on and we thought we were going to see something very safe, but what we were building was something beautiful. And I could never see our chair without it. Every time we had to measure, I was upset. I needed to get it right back on the chair. Just the gravity of having something that beauty, that beautiful in the nursery, because it is an anchor, was really exciting to us. And we, we knew we were onto something. We were excited. It was our dream to not only make nurseries safe, the safest possible, especially these gliders and gliding mechanisms, but um, also to make them more beautiful. If, if somehow I can't get this $900 fully upholstered chair, how do I exit that, save the money for you know baby, college, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, food, our yep. kids eat a ton of food, <laughs> um, you know, put a pin in that. Uh, but how can we do that, but then also, um, <laughs> yeah, but but also like have a a chair that a glider chair that was both beautiful and safe in the nursery and in our toddlers' mm -hmm. rooms, right? So I think that was critical, just being able to have something that was affordable. So the the classic glider chair has um, the pinch points and the mechanism underneath, but then we didn't want to spend the 600 plus dollars on a fully upholstered chair yeah so we bought the you know the classic glider chair and then we designed the yeah. glider skirt to take care of the pinch points and also to add a nice sort of fabric beauty it comes in five patterns sort of yeah. beauty um around the, the bottom of the glider chair as well so that's so the part is that you can have all different looks so different nursery you can change the glider skirt and it's like a new glider chair or different rooms or just to change it up because you know the world gets a little small in there. Um, and when we got our final one on, let me tell you, it fit like a glove. It was just <laughs> really beautiful and we couldn't be happier about it. We're, we're authorized to put this out there for everybody who owns a glider, everybody who knows someone who has a glider. A lot That's of people right. register for this thing. Baby it's a really exciting registering. thing. It's one of a kind, there's nothing like let me, this sounds amazing. And it sounds like it's going to prevent a lot of <laughs> unnecessary injuries. And it sounds like there should be like a coalition of moms that are like, you know, for <laughs> this product. And I'm curious about the time when you came up the, with the raw idea, that, that moment that you had the initial inspiration. I'm curious what inspired the name, like what, 
what was that? Why the glider skirt? Yeah, our, our daughter, we were coming up with, he's kind of, as you can tell, a little bit square. <laughs> he I'm an he never extorts the situation. An so MBA, coming, MBA square. <laughs> so he's pounding out all these different names. And um, I would I would elect you if I could, but I couldn't. Um, but anyway, we my daughter said, well, it's like a skirt for the chair because she had seen our bus skirt. She said, glider skirt, glider skirt. And we it was like from there on, it was a permanent fixture in our in our idea. Yeah. So yeah. And everything, you know, everything else that I had jockey to put up there got kicked off the list and our three-year-old ended up naming the brand. Yeah. So my, our offspring is smarter than we are. Thank you to our <laughs> offspring. They, they haunt me at night sometimes. My lack of patience sometimes haunts me at night. Um, but, you know, I tell them they lived in my belly for nine months. Well, you know, all of them together would be more than that. Um, <laughs> they had a lot of movement in there. They, they lived, they breathed, they ate everything I ate. So that kind of cancels it out. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to cancel this. That, that was like amazing. That was incredible. Uh, that was actually helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's great actually to use when you're trying to tell your story too for non-interview fun comedy games as well that's yeah. awesome that's great <laughs> i love it i mean i love the whole like the genesis of it it's like the true entrepreneurial story right you experience the problem you come up with a solution and your kid names it like that yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. it's like american that's dream something, right that's it is. <laughs> that's it.